the beautiful icy landscape of Norway's Arctic North. In this remote region, close to the Russian border, is a church and three people too afraid to walk beyond its grounds. They first came to Norway to escape the horrors of Syria. Now they hope this church can protect them from the Norwegian government. Uh, we are so worried about the baby. Tariq and Leila are going to be parents in about six months. They're too scared to show their faces, but they show us where they sleep in the church basement while hoping Norwegian officials don't come for them. Mm, but we are afraid that uh, they will try again to send us back to Russia. In September, they entered Norway from Russia, crossing the border on bikes like more than 5,000 others last year. The migrants weren't allowed to walk or drive across the border. Cycling became a popular loophole. Now the Norwegian government wants to send back asylum seekers who already had permission to live in Russia. Tariq and Leila fled to the church from a government camp when they were told they're on the deportation list. The Norwegian government says that Russia is a safe country. We, we, country? we didn't think so. We didn't think so. They say their student visas in Russia were temporary and their asylum application there was rejected. So returning to Russia will mean very quickly going back to Syria. Hossam, another Syrian, is also living beneath the church and says he's in the same situation. I come to Norway because it's my only choice. He says he doesn't want to stay in this country forever. Do you want to go home one day? Yeah, when uh, the war is end. Yeah, I want to help my country uh, rebuilding something like that. The church can't protect these people legally. The migrants can only hope its symbolism will be enough to deter their forced removal while desperately waiting for the Norwegian government to rethink its policy. They say every day here is a battle to find hope. Today, I'm still afraid. Still afraid. Phil Black, CNN, Kirkenes, Norway.